Hello everyone. Um, I wanted to take a look this morning at um, Trump and how he's feeling after the midterm elections. Um, whenever I look at Trump energy, um, to me it's so dark and so heavy. Um, I try to find a way to lighten it up. So I am actually using my Mystical Cats um, deck this morning so that uh, uh, it's a little lighter view of it and I think you'll find it interesting. Um, I'm going to just lay a, a basic Celtic cross. Um, yeah, in the center, um, he's viewing the world right now, you know, that I've got dominion over the world. Um, look at all I've got. I'm up in my ivory tower looking down on the world. Um, or Golden Tower, as it actually would be. Um, he's completing a cycle, though. The, a cycle is ending. The World Card is about um, completing a cycle and new beginnings. <laughs> and the foundation is the Six of Fire. This would be uh, like the Six of Wands in a, a regular deck, uh, Rider weight deck. Um, he's... Uh, looking for everyone that's, you know, all his Republican cronies, he's looking for them to bring him all the toys, to bring him all the wealth, all the things that they've gotten, and lay them at his feet and worship him. In the past, uh, the Sun card laying you know, in the sun and, and just feeling great and uh, worshiping the sun god. Look at all the bright things that I can bring. Crowning the reading is the three of C. This would be like the three of cups. And hoping for the celebration with friends um, after the election. Um, one of the things that's interesting about in this deck, um, you know, it's, it's normally the three muses celebrating with the cups. Um, to me, it, it's kind of interesting because there's two cats and one seal. Uh, the friends um, are more integrated here. It's, it's uh, going across different species. So um, to me, that's saying what's driving part of the election results is um, the need for integration. In the near future, the the uh, king of sea, sea king, it's a tomcat laying by the sea. Um, he has his Mar-a-Lago in the distance. Um, this would be like the King of Cups. And no matter what the election results are, I, I think this is saying, well, I'm still going to be the king and I'm still going to have Mar-a-Lago off in the distance and um, I'm, I'm the king over the emotions. You know, there's a lot of water in this and the cups are about emotions. Um, so uh, I think in a way it's also kind of showing that maybe his emotions will calm down because he's he's been um, spewing so much rhetoric and, you know, trying to divide the country even more and talking about the mob of the Democrats um, and the protesters and everything. Um, to me, after the elections, he's going to appear a little calmer. Uh, so maybe that's because the elections don't go quite the way that uh, he's hoping. Um, yeah, the Five of Sky, this represents him. This is um, a tribe of cats and a sphinx cat, a hairless cat in the uh, distance that's trying to get into the tribe and they're not being accepted and I think this is definitely him that you know those that are loyal to me are accepted those that are different and have different views yeah you're out of the tribe you can't get in uh, 
Yeah, in the environment, the Five of Fire. This is about all the fighting um, and conflicts and battles and um, the things that he incites. You know, he doesn't let everyone into the tribe, so he's uh, inciting fights, um, infighting within his own party as well as fighting across, you know, both parties and riling people up people fighting in the country even. Um, hopes and fears, the Fire King. Sorry, no, the Earth King. The Earth King is uh, the King of Pentacles. So hopes and fears is that he could still have his money, have his treasures, have his wealth, um, and that the money is enough also to drive the elections. The way that he wants them to to go. The final outcome is the Ace of Sky. This would be like the Ace of Swords. It's about um, power and truth. Um, I'm going to lay some clarifiers for this, but power and truth coming out in the elections. As a clarifier, the Fire King, this is like the King of Wands. This is a, a king that's um, more fair, more open, uh, working together. Someone that, you know, is, is approachable and has new ideas about the way things can be done and wants to be more inclusive. Um, the lovers. This is about the agreements that were made. And the Sky Queen. Um, the Sky Queen is like the Queen of Swords, the Sword of Truth, the um, the queen that also has um, a lot of power, a lot of might, so um, I'm looking at this as, as possibly things coming up again with um, Muller. Muller um, coming in, looking at the agreements that were made, and shedding more truth on the situation you know the sky queen she's perched up in a tree she's got a great view of her surroundings and can see everything that's going on while being safe in the tree and um, i just feel like this this may be more coming out uh, about the investigation um, after the elections and i do feel like muller's waiting to do more indictments uh, waiting to bring more information out until after the elections are over, um, partially because uh, I feel like you know he's a fair and just man. So you know, and he's a Republican. He doesn't want to influence the elections. Part of it is that, um, and I feel like part of it is that whatever he brings out, you know, if if the Republicans are still in power, it's going to go nowhere. Um, so I feel like he wants to wait until there are more Democrats and. Um, before presenting a report, you know, to Congress, and know that you know nothing, nothing's going to just get thrown out and disregarded. You know that it'll be looked at and, and considered deeply. Um, I do feel like also with the um, Fire Queen that um, this is showing that there will be more women um, that are elected than in previous um, elections. So that's my reading on. Trump after the elections. I hope you found it a little uh, lighter also. Um, look, using the uh, Mystical Cats deck. Um, on the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Fire. Um, and I found find this very interesting. The Eight of Fire, it's um, about a cat that when he gets motivated or gets a burst of energy he goes flying off and the other cats are just sitting there watching him and i, I feel like that's 
um, what has happened with Trump a lot, you know, that he goes to the rallies and gets fired up and um, the other cats are like, you know, what's going on here? What, 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 what's he chasing? What's he going after? And it's that um, spur of the moment kind of energy and, and needing releases. But I, I think it also um, represents us too, that sometimes, you know, this, the tension around this whole regime gets so tense sometimes that we have to find ways to let our energy go and, and not focus so much, <coughs> excuse me, on the negatives <coughs> that are going on. So if you feel the need, <laughs> go outside, go running, go for a walk, let off some energy. It, it helps balance the emotions. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you uh, like that, please hit uh, the like button. And if you want to watch more future readings, hit the uh, subscribe button. Thank you.